C'est celle de Omar Gonzalez, sa défense centrale du Cameroun. Il jouera à côté de Harold Mukudi. C'est eux qui vont contrôler l'axe défensif à la fin. Je pense que vous allez avoir quelques joueurs qui viennent d'un qui vient de France, un autre qui vient d'Atalanta et un autre qui vient d'Italie. But mostly the play at home. An ball. action. Now the top. Touches against the bar. Denies Russia an opportunity to shake the net for the first goal. Seven minutes into the first half of this game. Ivan Obiakov, vous le voyez ici sur son pied gauche, la frappe qu'il croise et qui s'en va heurter le montant gauche de Fabrice Odoi et Bogo. Il ne l'a pas touché. Ah, il a fleuri très légèrement. Pour la sortir d'orbite, revoyez ici la parade de Fabrice Odoi. Il heurte légèrement ce ballon qui passe néanmoins pour toucher le poteau avant de passer. Ce sera dense, ce sera intense. Et c'est ainsi l'intensité du match entre le Cameroun et la Russie. Ce fut le cas en 1994, le Cameroun qui okay. avait dû plier les Chines. 6 buts contre 1 avec un quintuplé portant la signature de l'EC. Salenko, ce fut le cas aussi même sous l'ancienne appellation de ce pays, l'URSS, l'Union des Républiques, troisième gardien de cette sélection russe, mais qui bénéficie de la confiance. Attention le Cameroun qui monte, Benissa envoie car à nouveau. Et le centre, non L'option c'est la frappe, mais il est en déséquilibre. Le capitaine des Lions est dans table, même s'il va bénéficier d'un corner. Il prend le shot appropriately. And you were talking about the goalkeeper who is just 24. Look at that. Vincent Boubacar has everything clear to lift the shot. But it's the wonderful and the brilliant work there by... Uh, stretched out the right uh, foot up in the air to be able to block that. This is the first opportunity Vincent Boubacar had to create a difference. But the brilliant 24-year-old Sofanov Matve was quite there. It's going to kick for Cameroon. And the boy coming back, Kunde Malon, lays claim to it. Was a tempted header, which didn't go well. The Russians have their doors task to clear off the pressure. It is Cameroon's. Those, my friend, that on both sides, there are openings that if properly exploited, can produce goals. As much as the Russians, like now, have all the great opportunities, so to the Cameroonians can create and make the opportunity. Charlov Fedor looks right down to find Dimitri Barinov. It is rather Sergei Volkov that gets into uh, that uh, strong tackle there with Mumingama. Look at that, a shed pulling. But of course, it's also the physical strength of Mumingama that counts very much in this action. Some of the beautiful moments you missed. This right here is Castelletto, who was trying to uh, bring up uh, an attempt like he did it in uh, Doha, Qatar, in that fatal match against uh, Serbia. Another attempt that stretched out, uh, stretched out Fabrice Ondoa in that shot. 15 minutes gone. The attempts would want to take a picture with you. They are excited. Where are you from? Cameroon. And then they would call Roja Miller. They would call uh, Samueletto. Watch out. Gael Ndoa came, comes out, and it is Castelletto who helps him to pick up that one because in his outing, he lost it already. He was very fortunate for that goalkeeper that Castelletto was there to stop it back into his hands. Oh, yes, Donc, uh, Jean-Charles Castelletto, ah, c'est la star du couloir droit aujourd'hui, mais qui a le reflex toujours de revenir en défense centrale. <laughs> Leur pressing. Ah, ils vont monter à nouveau. Il faut faire confiance à à Dimitri Barinov, le capitaine de cette équipe, qui va solliciter Ivan Obliakov, tenu de près par Nuutolo, qui d'ailleurs obtient un coup franc. <laughs> He did not want to let Nuutolo go. Ivan Obliakov kept holding down Nuutolo. And at one point, you see how Nuutolo reacted to that. Ah oui, voici. Donc, uh, c'était là la frappe. Et son doigt, ça. On l'a vu plusieurs fois en 2017 lors de la Coupe d'Afrique des Nations. Ce terrain, lui qui évite donc au Cameroun son premier but, une fois encore, alors qu'il avait très bien dressé sa chambre dans leur Kouziaf. And almost all of them are inside Cameroon's six. Sergei Volkov. 
Turns out to find Pinal Sege. It is Fabrice Ondra who stops it, but unfortunately for him, it is goal number one for Russia. This last minute, I told you they need to watch out this last minute, Cameroon. And it is uh, Shalov Fedor, Fedor who Shalof. takes the header and scored goal number one for Russia. The Russians are in total joy and happiness in this game, which to Russia is a strong international game with all the worth and weight that is supposed to carry. On Look peut voir ici avec euh, ce centre qui va partir sur la ligne hein, pratiquement. Dans un premier temps, Fabrice, on doit stop sur la ligne. Mais la deuxième, c'est un peu compliqué pour lui. Qu'il était déjà en déséquilibre. Vous allez le voir ici. La tête plongée euh, de Fidor Chalov, l'attaquant du CSK Moscou, justement, qui ouvre donc le score pour l'équipe nationale euh, russe. Sa sixième sélection euh, qui est arrosée couronné par euh, ce but qu'il inscrit jusqu'ici. Il ne l'avait pas reçu, euh, réussi euh, sous les couleurs russes. C'est donc euh, son ouverture de compteur, ce qui n'est pas pour plaire euh, à Aaron. Builds. They have built this understanding over time. Nuhu Tolo stops it very much to the joy of the Cameroonian fans. 30 seconds into regulation for this first half of the game. Gonzalez Ah, tough one day for Kune Malong, who loses it. And it is going on for Pinaev Sergei. Pinaev Sergei, another opportunity, but Fabrice Ondoa was there. Ivan Obliakov took it, but Fabrice Ondoa stopped it. Ah, il est bien malin. Bien malin, le joueur de Bradford, Brian Beaumont. Ah oui, il est Look passé, le voici en avant. But who is there? Il n'y a presque personne, le retrait est contré. Oh. Brian Beaumont, il a hésité, le coup d'œil, scrutant la surface de réparation pour le retrait. Look at that. Quand vous le voyez ici, c'est alors qu'arrive Fensan Aboubakar, mais il est trop tard. Il était délai, mon ami. Il était délai, il n'y avait personne qui venait de derrière pour aider. Le premier half est over, over here. At the Dynamo Lev Yashin Stadium here in Moscow, it is one for Russia, nothing for Cameroon as they get out for the first 45 minutes. When they come back, it will be time for Rigo Bear Samba Hanak to bring in answers to the questions that the Russians have been asking. The Russians are celebrating that one with a song that Africa knows so well. Of course, it is a soccer song. It is international, it is known everywhere. Beautiful game with Olivier Cham. Quite difficult there to get Brian Burma as the very, very strong and vigilant um, Alexander Silyanov was very present to stop it. Ah, you see that, look at that action again. The Jack Invader was right there, but he swept in between his labs. And then this other acrobatic action by Sir Majesty. Brian Burma that did not catch his boots. Il a été court, Brian Beaumont. Vas-y, Koundé Malon. He's a strong guy, my friend. 11 matches in Lokomotiv Moscow. Shirt number 20 for Russia. Pinayev Sergei, the youngest player in this team, shows the world already what the future holds for the Russian national football team. He crashed against the bar. He was denied shirt number 20. But look at that on the other side. Earlier on, it is Olivier Cham who managed to sweep through, but it was very difficult to beat Daniel Glebov and Pinayev Sergei. Ah, what a shot for the youngster. That was the best he could do. Sofanov Matvey to send it all out. Quickly, here we have find Castelletto to find Olivier Cham. Un but, mais attention, il y avait une position de hors-jeu. Because he was disallowed, my friend. He was offside. That could not be validated. Brian Bemer in the Russian side of the pitch. Breaks into the six. Takes the crossing, hoping to get the Dark Invader. Ah, il fait du grand boulot dans son couloir. Oh. But Osipenko Maxim stops that. Denied. The Dark Invader an opportunity to get an equalizer. Corner kick for Cameroon. 
You should by now have fallen in love with the game of Brian Bimmer. How much he works, how strong he is, how much he keeps his flank of the game, Brian Bimmer. Et les Camerounais qui appellent le but, ils sont bien nombreux, on vous a dit un millier, tout juste derrière les buts de Safonov, ils sont installés là, ils portent donc leur voix. Le centre, au second poteau, la tête, ce sera à côté, néanmoins un autre corner pour l'équipe du Cameroun. That was a bit too long. Ah ouais. Nomi Gamale euh, en tentant de la remettre de la tête. Koudé Ballon, le centre. Mais la déviation. Et ce sera un autre corner pour l'équipe du Cameroun. Les Lions et Nantables à la recherche de l'égalisation. Qui a continué de presser sur cette série de. Another kind of kick for Cameroon. Ah ouais, il est impeccable sur le, son rôle de défenseur axial, Jean-Charles Castelletto. À chaque fois, il y a ce retour défensif qu'il effectue avec succès, comme vous venez de le voir. Le voici dans son couloir droit. Pour l'endroit de circonstance pour euh, ce match, Brian Bemo, excellent sur sa passe. Olivier Cham, l'accélération avec Vincent Aboubacar en combine. La balle à finesse, voici Vincent, le centre peut-être. Ah, cette balle qui va traverser la ligne, ce serait une sortie de 6 mètres. Il was too long pour Vincent Aboubacar to stop that. In the match against Burundi, we saw two attackers. There was Vincent Aboubacar and there was Maxime Choupomo. Bannière. Et le chrono, l'affichage, le coup franc pour le Cameroun, peut-être l'occasion de revenir à la hauteur de la Russie, menée depuis la 40e minute, là c'est la 81e, coup des ballons. Donc on aperçoit au départ de ce ballon avec Olivier Cham, c'est Cham qui l'exécute, c'est au-dessus malheureusement, c'est au-dessus, il n'y aura pas de but camerounais, du moins sur ce coup franc toujours mené, un but à zéro donc. But, but if you look at if you look at his facial expression, he tells you that I've seen it, I've seen the way he's going to go. But the curving, the curving was not uh, appropriate because he drops just slightly behind the uh, uh, the crossbar of the pole. He saw it, he saw it in his mind's eyes. They say the pessimist sees a difficulty in every opportunity, but the optimist sees an opportunity in every difficulty. Probably that is where Olivier Cham was stuck in. But watch out. It looks dangerous for Cameroon, and he succeeds. It's goal number two. Approved. That was surely offside. Another offside position for Asen Adamov. Just 23 years old, this young guy, and he plays with Russia or Renberg. Nine matches since the start of the championship for him. All of them. <laughs> The coach for Russia seems not to agree, but the decision of the referee is final. If you look at that again, three offsides registered for Russia and just two for Cameroon. In, three, in two of those three offsides for Russia, they scored two goals. And they were all disallowed because, of course, the players had uh, innocent positions up front. Look at that shit, boy. The Russians could be leading in this game, but they're having a difficult time playing against a physically strong Cameroonian side. It will be eight minutes to regulation and another free kick for Cameroon. Two other substitutions for Russia.